NASA discovers ice on Mars. Scientists looking at images received from the NASA Mars Phoenix lander believe that the spacecraft's thrusters uncovered a large patch of ice just below the Martian surface. This is good news for the mission. The Mars Phoenix lander's primary goal is to dig for ice in hopes that it can be tested for evidence of organic compounds that are the chemical building blocks of life. Phoenix team members said that patches showing the ground beneath the lander suggested the vehicle was resting on patches of ice. Washington University scientist Ray Arvidsson said the spacecraft thrusters may have blown away dirt covering the ice when the robot landed. A more detailed image taken under the lander showed one of the craft's three legs sitting on coarse dirt and a large patch of what appeared to be ice, maybe a meter in diameter, ice that it seemed had been covered by a thin layer of dirt. NASA was worried that the ice was 30 to 50 centimeters deep, which would be a lot of work to dig for, but Peter Smith, a University of Arizona scientist who is the chief project investigator, remarked, Now we are fairly certain that we can easily get down to the ice table. Phoenix is equipped with a robotic arm similar to a backhoe that digs into the ground and retrieves samples for testing in the lander's small laboratories. Once the arm starts digging, dirt and ice it scoops up is deposited in several small ovens to be heated. Measuring devices will test the resulting gases. The Phoenix lander was sent to Mars's northern regions in hopes of finding frozen water near the pole, but just how deep underground ice might be located was unknown. In an early image, the possible ice is shown to lie directly under the lander, probably exposed in the blast zone by the retro rockets used for Phoenix's soft landing. The image showed a small portion of the exposed area that looked brighter and smoother than the surrounding soil. Another image showed a greater portion of the area under the lander. Scientists said that the abundance of excavated smooth and level surfaces added evidence to a hypothesis that the underlying material was an ice table covered by a thin blanket of soil. This is just what the Phoenix mission was hoping to find, and what luck to land directly over your goal. The bright-looking surface material where the image was partly overexposed may not be inherently brighter than the foreground material in the shadow, but the scientists called the area holy cow. Reportedly, that's exactly the phrase exclaimed when the image was returned. But just recently, small chunks of bright material described as the size of dice disappeared from inside a trench where they were photographed by the craft earlier this week. This has convinced scientists that the chunks were ice, frozen water that vaporized after digging exposed it. It must be ice, said Peter Smith. These little clumps completely disappearing over the course of a few days. This is perfect evidence that it's ice. There had been some question whether the bright material was salt, but salt can't do that. The confirmation that water ice exists in the area directly surrounding the lander is big and good news for the Martian mission. NASA's stated goal was to find exactly this water ice and then analyze it. With the latest news, the first step is accomplished, and all that's left now is to get the water into Phoenix's instruments. This is the best opportunity that humanity has ever had to analyze extraterrestrial water in any form. That had the Phoenix Lander's persona fired up. Are you ready to celebrate? Well, get ready. We have ice. Yes, ice. Water ice on Mars. Woo! The best day ever, said the Mars Phoenix Lander. Their suspicions about water ice beneath the surface of Mars confirmed. Scientists in the world have renewed interest in the outcome of the soil analyses currently being conducted. The samples are being examined for traces of organic molecules, among other substances, but the lander does not have instruments that could directly detect life. The presence of water on Mars is a hot topic for scientists. They have presented strong evidence in recent years of huge deposits of frozen water at the Martian poles and point to geological features that indicate that large bodies of water flowed on the planet's surface in the distant past. Water is a key to the question of whether life, even in the form of microbes, has ever existed on Mars. On Earth, water is a necessary ingredient for life. The University of Arizona in Tucson is leading, and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory is managing the three-month scientific mission. For more information, visit www.nasa.gov. This is Rita Carl, Director of Education at Challenger Center for Space Science Education, signing off.